So, stool height. Yes, it's a strangely boring conversation, but it's quite important. The most important thing you can do is get an adjustable stool. You can see here, this beautiful stool, it's adjustable. It means that I can make it higher or lower as I need. There are a lot of piano stools out there that are not adjustable. Please don't use them, always get an adjustable. So how do you know what is the right height? Well, first and foremost, you've got to feel most comfortable. That's a given. If it feels unnatural, if it feels uncomfortable, it's probably the wrong height for you. But as a guide, this is sort of it. You can see my leg pops down a little bit towards the floor. I'm not wearing shoes. I don't tend to play piano or conduct for that matter with shoes on. Um, but this is the sort of height I have. And one of the most important things is that there is an energy that flows down the arms into the keyboard. Now, if I am much lower than this, if I scooch this down, you can see my arm isn't flowing naturally into the keys. You can see that there's a strange upward movement. This is very uncomfortable to play. So let's raise the stool. And there we are, finally, we're back. You can see the energy flows from my shoulders and my back all the way down into the keyboard so I can make a really nice, gorgeous sound. So what about posture? Yes, that's quite an important thing. Now, occasionally, on television or in the concert hall, you may have seen a pianist do this. It's more of a, an emotive thing. It's more of a thing of me as a player, I want to be close to the instrument. Is it a technique? Is it something that you should play like that? And the answer is no. You know, you'll do your back damage, it'll hurt. After a while, if you try and play like that for two hours, you know, you're gonna get a backache. So in an ideal world, just like when you're standing and you've got that invisible string pulling up your head and not sticking your chin out and pushing your neck back slightly, having a fairly straight spine, that's how you should play the piano. Technically, that's how you should play the piano. But do you know what? I'm a bit of a rebel. Do I think it's that important? No, I don't. There are a lot of piano teachers out there who are gonna see this video and go, oh no, he's totally wrong. Do you know what? Again, it's about feeling comfortable in your skin. So if you feel comfortable, like I do, slightly hunched over, that's my natural playing. I've been playing like that for 25 years. Has it done my back any problems at all? No, it hasn't. So feel comfortable, try and have a good posture if you can, but don't worry about it too much. And lastly, hand position. Yes, this is important. And yes, this will make a difference. So come on over to the keyboard and have a look. Do we want flat fingers? Uh-uh, no thank you very much. Do we want overly curved fingers? Uh-uh, no thank you very much. We want something a halfway house. So we want something where the energy flows down. We want something where the tips of your fingers, the pads here, those are the things that are connecting with the keys. Do we want this joint here to do that? No, we don't, absolutely not. Don't let it collapse. It's very easy to let that joint collapse. It's the biggest issue with a beginner, but try desperately to not let that collapse. And something like that is a really nice position. Do you know what though? There is no hard and fast rule. Occasionally, you will want to play with flat fingers. You can see, look, my fingers are fairly flat. I'm choosing to do that on purpose. But there's other things where I'm overly curved. So as you get a little bit more experience, your fingers become a little bit more flexible, and then you can make up your mind. What is the best hand position for you to play? But to start with, don't let that collapse. Use the pads of your fingers and have a nice curve. If in doubt, 
one of the easiest things to do is to find a ball, a tennis ball or something like that, or an orange, put it in your hand, hold it, move the thing away, and that is your piano hand position.